the idea I had for the contest was to build an inexpensive self-navigating robot out of things I can mostly find laying around at home. Um, the main reason for wanting to do it is just really to see if I could actually do it. I'm mainly a .NET Compact Framework developer and I wanted a, a challenge, something new to try. For the base of my robot I used an electronic radio control car. I removed the radio receiver and kept the steering servo and electronic speed controller. I also had to add another battery pack to power the, the Tahoe 2 development board. I have two 5 volt power supplies, one from each battery, each to, to power the, the electronic speed controller and the, the development board. I have a serial GPS attached to the, the Tahoe development board. It is powered from the board. I had this GPS lying around at work and decided to use it for my project. The downside though is that it has quite a slow refresh rate, 1 hertz, which you will see in the demo uh, causes the, the car to weave quite a bit. I also have two Devantech SRF 05 ultrasonic sensors to detect obstacles. These were the most expensive things that I bought as they had to come all the way from the UK. All of these components are attached to the radio control car chassis using a few screws and Lego. All in all, I didn't spend more than 2,000 Rand, which is about $225. The c -sharp program that runs my robot uses four threads. The main data thread reads in all vital GPS data, number of satellites, current latitude and longitude, speed and bearing. The speed controlling thread regulates the pulse width modulation frequency to the electronic speed controller based on the speed from the GPS. The steering direction thread determines the direction left, right or straight. The steering wheels must turn according to the current coordinates to reach the pre-programmed destination coordinates. The obstacle detection thread continually checks a specified distance on both ultrasonic sensors and if something is detected the wheels turn accordingly. Now for the actual demonstration of the product. Um, I'm going to put the robot down in, in front of me here, turn it on and it should reach its destination which is a brick over there on some paper. I'm also going to follow it around with a box just to to make a, a, an obstacle so it will try and avoid it. Here goes.
five meters of the end coordinates and that is my project. Uh, I am very new to the .NET Micro Framework. This is my first real project with it um, and electronics as a whole. Overall I enjoyed it. I learned so much um, about uh, electronics, um, this very basic programming. Um, the, I'd struggled with uh, firstly to find pulse width modulation uh, to, to how to set up the port. Uh, but I, I managed to figure out that relatively early on. The, the second major struggle I had was working out an inverse of the cosine function, maths function. Um, the .NET Micro Framework doesn't support it right now. Luckily there is a lot of help out there available on the internet which is good and that's how I actually managed to, to solve that particular problem. Um, this project could be, the, the track of the robot could be a lot more direct if I used a, uh, a, be, a better refresh rate GPS, a 5 hertz GPS, and also in future I'm thinking of maybe using a, a tracked robot instead of a uh, radio controlled chassis because radio controlled cars are made for very quick acceleration off the mark, um, but this is what I came up with in the end and, and that's my project, I hope you like it. Thank you.